Hello, this is Alan McNabb, and uh, I'm with LionFirePress.com, and in this video tutorial, we cover uh, how to quickly make a website, and uh, uh, we uh, have here the free service you can get. You can get a free website, um, and uh, you can just click Get It Now, and it takes you over to LionFirePress.net. That is our portal for the free websites, and so this tutorial is going to be dealing with how to create a uh, website very quickly using this free service and uh, it's just a little bit different from the uh, the paid uh, service you have a lot more flexibility and things you can do with that but still uh, it's a very easy and very effective way on making a website uh, so uh, you notice I'm logged in here already and I'm just going to go to websites and blogs right there and I'm going to create a site I want to create a brand new site and I'm just going to call it Allen 2 and uh, we're going to say uh, site title we'll just go Allen 2 and uh, all right up here in search engines yes and then tagline uh, Allen's uh, site just be the tagline on the front there and uh, public uh, things such as that and uh, we'll just say create site all right so let's let it do that and pause one second here all right, so we're uh, good to go with that, and we can just create, uh, click on site directory, and uh, my sites, this lists the sites that I have here, and we just created Allen 2, let's click on that, and it takes us to the site. Now, notice when I hover over my sites up here, I've got a couple of them, and uh, so we're dealing with uh, Allen 2 right now, and we're just going to click on that, that will take us to the dashboard. And so here we have a freshly installed uh, uh, WordPress site, and we're going to make it into a website that is usable for us. Uh, first of all, let's go see what we have here. I'm just going to duplicate this tag, and uh, I'm using Chrome, and uh, I'm just going to go um, My Sites, down to Allen 2, and down to Visit Site. It'll pull up the site right here. So you see what we have here. Uh, basically, we've got a blog installed. That's what happens. Uh, WordPress is primarily a blogging uh, program, blogging software, and it's great for that. But also, you can make wonderful sites, uh, websites with it. That's what we're doing in this tutorial. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to go up to Posts, click on that, and Posts is what are uh, found primarily in a blog. I'm just going to hover, hover over Trash right there, click that, get rid of that. Uh, then I'm going to go to Pages and click on that bring up all the pages there's only one there's a sample page hover over that and trash that so we're uh i have no posts no pages we can get a clean start here so i'm going to click on add new so let's add some pages here uh, the first one we're going to add is home and we won't put the content in here right now this is uh, home i'll just put that right there and we're going to click publish all right, uh, we also want a, uh, let's say, add new again. Uh, we also want a contact page, a page someone can use to fill out a form and contact us. So we put contact there. Let's not put anything here for right now. And say publish, and that takes care of that. Let's say we want one more page. Let's say we want an about page. And um, we'll say about right here. And just say, uh, this is the uh, about page. You can put anything in here that you wanted, and you can come back later and change it if you like. And we say publish right there. All right, and now let's go up to this tag. Let's just see what our website looks like right now. All right, so here we go. We've got two home pages. That's because the settings uh, are still set for a blog. Uh, and we can now straighten that out now that we've got some of these pages in here and uh, we see this other information uh, over there so okay let's uh, let's uh, go do some more work back here we are at the dashboard just clicked on this tab here it's got our dashboard and uh, let's go down to settings and we will go to general settings all right so we've got Alan 2 Alan site let's say that the uh, site title, we want to be something else. We'll say XYZ Company. And uh, this is the best whatever. That'll be your tagline that appears on the 
top of the pages right under the company name. Notice the email address. That is the email address that uh, information from the contact form will go to when that's filled out. And uh, we'll go save this. All sorts of other things you can change there if you wanted. All right, so uh, let's also go down to reading. And this is where we can deal with that top nav bar. Uh, right now, front page displays your latest post. That would be for like a blog. We're not making a blog. And we're going to make it static page. Front page, let's say, goes to home. And uh, that's really all we need to do right there. All right, so now let's go see what our page looks like. All right, uh, so we see we've got uh, we've got a few things to deal with here. We've uh, we've got uh, comments here at the bottom, which is typical maybe for a blog, but not for a website. So we need to get rid of those. And I also want to show you the way uh, way to change the order of these pages if you don't like the order they're coming up there. And also want to show you how to get the uh, uh, contact form set up. That won't take but just a very few minutes. So let's go back over to this tab where we are in. We're in our dashboard. Uh, let's go up to uh, to pages and we can go to all pages. Now we're going to do two things here. We're going to set the order that our pages appear on the top nav bar right here. We're going to set that order. Also we're going to remove uh, these comments here. And so uh, let's just go through them one at a time. So we hover over, we click Quick Edit, we deselect Allow Comments, and we have a number here for the order. The home page we want to appear first, we'll leave it at zero. We'll say Update. Next page we want to appear is About, so we Quick Edit that. We do not want comments. We want this to appear second, so we number it number one. And we update that. Next to contact page, we quick edit. We do not want com comments, and we change the order there. The number, uh, actually, I, I make that number 99 because I, all, I always want it to be last, and if I add new pages in there, I don't want to have to be changing the number of this page all the time. I click update with that. All right, so we uh, go look at our website again, and we see here we've got the correct order. We do not have comments at the bottom. We can click the About page, and same thing here, and click on con Contact, and uh, same thing is here. All right, let's go back to the tab where we are in our dashboard, and let's deal with the contact form. Now we go down to Plugins. We can just hover there. You could click Hover there and say uh, uh, FS Contact Form. Let's go over to that. Just a few things that we want to do here with, uh, with this. Um, uh, first of all, um, um, we can click Enable to receive email as HTML instead of plain text. Second of all, if you would like, we can have double entry email, which I always like because that requires them to put it in twice to make sure they have it correct. Uh, let's go on and scan down here. We do not want to have the meeting request go through here. So we deselect that and we just update options and that will take just a moment. All right, now we need to get this form on that page, that contact page, and this is how you do it. You use what is called a short code. And we're simply gonna put this short code on that page and that will automatically bring up this form so that it can be filled out and uh, then used to send email to us. So I just highlighted that. I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to then click copy. And uh, now I'm going to go to that, that page that we have the, 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 the uh, contact page. So I click on pages. And now I go click on contact. And it brings up the page. Now I have it clicked on HTML because I want to put in this short code. So I just paste it in. Right click, paste, and there it is. And now I update that. And it'll take just a second to do that. Now let's go back and look at our website. Let's refresh. And here we have our contact page. Even got a little captcha there uh, for some security. And someone can go to this page. They can fill in uh, the information here. Name, email address, email address a second time, subject and message. Fill in the little captcha code and click submit. 
and this will send the message to that email address we have in the settings that I showed you already. All right, there we go. We've got a very simple, very simple website. And uh, we did that in just a few moments. Now we'll do some other tutorials, how to do some other things with this, how to add information over here in the right-hand uh, uh, column using widgets, and also how to um, uh, create a blog. So we'll do that in some other tutorials in just a moment. So thanks for being with us, and hope you find this to be very helpful.